Fergus Drennan is a professional forager. This is my office. This is where I work. I absolutely love it out here. I forage for wild food. Here we are. Partly because I really love the environment, but I like to get involved really practically with the environment. I want to touch it, I want to smell it, I want to know about its interrelation with things. Fergus has a passion. He wants to change the way people eat in Britain. People are hooked on crap, stagnant, dead food. It's plastic. No, not nutritious. I want them to eat vibrant, alive food, packed with energy, packed with nutrition. And that is uniquely the case with wild food. He dreams of taking them away from their dull supermarket existence and make them fall in love with the food that's all around them. You eat wild food for a couple of weeks, you will feel so flipping great. You will look back and you think, bloody hell, what was wrong with me? But you just don't realise it. But for Fergus, a wild meal isn't just a vegetarian option. He also goes searching for meat that he picks off the road. Badger is meat like any other. The only thing is, it hasn't been reared, especially for food. I call myself a vegetarian, but it's really a label, because I'm a vegetarian that eats roadkill. I want to draw people to an awareness of what they're eating. They don't know. It might be extreme, but I know what roadkill is. I know how the animals lived. I know its natural history. I respect it, and I eat it. Mm. Now, Fergus wants to introduce his passion for wild food and roadkill to a community who've never tasted it before. <coughs> it's very overpowering, you need um, the smelling salts up your nose. He's going to descend on a typical British town and has just three weeks until the final night when he'll challenge the locals to eat a feast of forage food and roadkill. Oh, roadkill, what is it? What have we got? We got Bambi? <laughs> I found something! <laughs> wow! Look! Oh, oh now it's exciting! This is the sperm! This is really exciting when you find find a group of them. No, and it's just wonderful, it is isn't it? It's exciting. It becomes worthwhile, doesn't it? It does. One of the identifying features of a Boletus badius, a baby, is that when you touch the paws, they turn blue really quite quickly. And it's like it brews. Yeah, it bruises bruise. blue. Mm. Oh, when, when you find them like this, it's a good idea just to get down on the ground and kind of have a look along the horizon. Oh, this is so therapeutic. I could just go for a sleep here. So tranquil. Should we do this it? This is lovely. Yeah. I, I'm just going to have a rest while you pick the rest of them. This is mm. lovely. Well, I Absolutely think, Fergus, gorgeous. we should have a rest and you should start cooking it for us. <laughs> Yeah, and there's a thing about ah, poor women sleeping with Fergus as well. Yeah. Like well, you know, I'm, I'm quite open-minded. <laughs> well, this is my absolute favourite part of the forage. Now we're going to have a fantastic campfire on the beach. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Let's grab a bit of sea purslane as a garnish. It's naturally salty. We're hungry, Fergus. Okay, who's first up for the mushrooms? Yes, please, Fergus. Whoa. Fantastic. Watch the pine needle. Oh, it smells <laughs> lovely. Are you sure that was a pine needle? So, how have you felt about the day? Has it all been worth it? I found the day really, really nice. It was really great. On a practical basis, working full time, looking after the family. It's more likely to be a, a special occasion thing to go out yep. rather than a regular and it's able to replace your going to the supermarket. If you do this once, then you do it twice. It's if you find something important enough and enjoy it enough, you make that time. So you find that you are making adjustments in your lifestyle, so you free up yeah. you know, time so you can come and yeah. do these things. And a final toast to our day. Wow! <laughs> Slow gin. 
Two Fergus. Two Fergus. To you all. <laughs> Fergus gets a call from a local farmer. There's a dead badger a mile away. Okay, fantastic. So I'm not far off now. So I'll cycle by and I'll be there in about 10 minutes. Great, thanks. You know, I always have this incredible kind of ambivalence to finding anything on the road. On the one hand, I really don't want to see anything dead on the road. On the other hand, I don't like to see maggot parties happening either, so I'd rather utilise what's there. Badgers are pretty big. He said it was just by the side. So I'm not sure which side. Oh, I, th I think I've seen it. Oh dear. It's just very sad. Just thinking how disgusting it is that um, so many animals get killed on the road. I recently read that badgers actually bury their dead. Um, and people have recorded this and the badgers actually make a kind of crying sound um, when they're doing this. And that's terribly sad. Okay, maybe it could be eaten, but... And although it might have been freshly killed, one thing I, I won't do is eat anything that's already covered in fly eggs, which this is. So uh, I'm going to put it back in the woods and hope the other badgers come along and bury it. <laughs>